Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Steph and I am a teacher at home. So today I'm going to talk to you about pets and the different types of homes they can live in. So I have a few pictures to show you as an example. This first one is an aquarium and you see this animal is swimming inside the aquarium in the water. That is a fish. Very good. Now this next one that I have has two different pictures. One house for outside and one house for inside. This one is for outside. You see it has a roof and a door. This bed is for inside. And you see there's a little bone on there. So what animal do you think stays in this house? That's right, it's a dog. Now this next one, the animal can go inside. You see inside the cube is a nice comfy pillow. Or it can lay on top. You see that animal right there? That is a cat, very good. This last one, you see the animal right there. The animal can see out of the cage and I can see into the cage. It's a bird cage. So I could sit there and talk to the bird if I had one. So now I looked all around my house to find materials to build my own home for a pet. So what I found was some boxes, different size boxes, and tape. So I decided to make my house for my pet nice and cozy. I needed to put a roof on top. So I took the tape and I put a roof on and I taped both sides. And I even decided it needed a door. So I put a door in there. Now, there's one last thing missing. We need to make the animal warm and cozy inside. So what do you think we could use to make the animal nice and cozy? Hmm. I found a blanket or I found some napkins we could put at the bottom. I even found paper or newspaper or tissues. But I'm gonna go with the blanket for this one. So what I did is I take the blanket, I put it inside on the bottom, and I close that right there. Now, what materials could you use from your house to build your own house for a pet? Keep on learning.